There were multiple scares involving Ebola across the country today. At the Pentagon, a woman who had recently traveled to Africa vomited in a parking lot. The Pentagon shut down one entrance and part of that lot. The woman was taken to a Virginia hospital where doctors found she was not infected. Meanwhile, a cruise liner is being held off the coast of Belize. The State Department and Carnival Cruise Line say a passenger on board may have been exposed to the virus while caring for Thomas Eric Duncan as a hospital worker. The recent scares bring up the question of just how safe travelers are here in eastern Iowa. CBS 2 News reporter Muga Odigwe spoke with officials at the eastern Iowa airport. On average, the airport sees 31 arrivals and 31 departures a day. That's a lot of passengers coming in and out of the area, which is why airport officials say safety is always a top priority any given day. United Airlines is announcing the arrival of... With luggage and tickets on hand, travelers at the Eastern Iowa Airport are ready for boarding. Among them is Molly Beigler. She's here to pick up her daughter. She comes to visit. She's coming back for my granddaughter's baptism. But Beigler isn't so sure she herself will be flying anytime soon. You're in such a, you know, close quarters already in the plane with everybody else that, yeah, it, it is a concern for me. Then there's Kara Monroe. She's headed to New York. I don't think it's an epidemic here in the United States yet. Um, I would be concerned if I were heading to Western Africa. Folks at the Eastern Iowa Airport feel the same way. Everyone's working together to try and protect everyone as best they can without raising a, to a level of panic that's not necessary. Wilson says the FAA has screenings at five airports that see 95 percent of travelers coming from Ebola infected countries. That's Chicago, JFK, Newark, Dulles and Atlanta. She says the safety procedures in place right now are the usuals for this time of the year, like hand sanitizers to fight the flu, a measure some like Monroe say is needed. I would say it's more likely that we'll catch the flu on the airplane than to catch Ebola. To date, the World Health Organization and the CDC have not recommended general travel restrictions to or from Ebola-infected countries. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Mugu Odigwe, CBS 2 News.